Hello everyone, Darren here, and welcome back to Floodland. Now this is a sponsored series where I'll be playing and guiding you through the initial stages of the game, which is out now on Steam. Just check the description and the top comment to find a link that'll take you right to the Steam page where you can learn more about the game. Thank you to Violent Monarch, Raven's Court, and Playon for sponsoring the series. In the last episode, we basically ran through the prologue pretty quickly and introduced a lot of the core mechanics to the game, but not everything. Today, things are going to get even more interesting as we're looking to expand off of our own little island here, maybe encounter some other clans and some conflicting ideologies. So let's do a little recap before we begin. In our UI screen here, I haven't let any time play since the previous episode. We're just picking up right where we left off, day 25, about halfway through the day. We've got 30 population in total, 3 people currently idle, not assigned to different buildings. Food situation's pretty precarious right now, if I'll be honest. We seem to be consuming exactly what we make every day, which is putting us right on a knife's edge of starvation. Although every now and then we uncover little bits of pockets of food that kind of regrow in the forests that we can grab every now and then. But we got to keep an eye on it. Water-wise, we're actually pretty good. We're making an excess of 5 water per day. Medicine-wise, we have 7 medicine in total, medication. One of which has been consumed just at the end of the last episode. We had one person with food poisoning from the risky food they were eating. But they've actually been cured, so that's all good now. We then have 830 wood, 136 rubble, 76 rubbish, 0 old world relics, and 4 textbooks. I've just switched the study into its building mode of academy. So now we're actually getting, um, consuming the textbooks in order to get experience, which can level up our clan and give us specializations for different buildings. We then also just picked up radio batteries. We picked that up in the radio tower, which actually is our objective right now. The objective is to restore the tower into operational order, give it batteries so we can get transmissions and find other islands and places to search. Um, and then our goal is obviously to locate the remaining groups of scouts. Before we get to that though, I thought I would just really quickly go over the situation on the ground, where everything's located. We have our two storage areas, one here and one right there. A few tents around each of them. Tents are kind of sporadically dotted around, hoping that people will kind of go to where they need to in terms of livable, living next to where they work. We then have two water stills, I guess they're called, production places for water, where it gets cleaned and filtered. We then have two sorting huts for pla uh, rubbish. I always want to call it plastic, but it's rubbish. And we have two fishing huts. One right here and one right there. Then we've got the kitchen, which takes the fish, cooks it, makes it uh, a better quality of food, safe food. We have our study right next to our thing here. And our forager house, which is just collecting little bits of food from around this area, which seems to be kind of getting low, actually. Uh, this is just a renovated house, and that's basically all you need to know. We had all these buildings over here. They've all been searched now, as far as I'm aware. Nothing left in any of them. Just the old radio tower to kind of look at in terms of our clan. Unrest has gone all the way down to zero. We gave almost everyone a house. One person is left homeless. One unfortunate soul. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So, let's get cracking. We want to get into the old radio tower. To do that, we have to go to the technology screen and unlock Reclaimed Radio Tower. So it's just one point, not too expensive. The other thing I wanted to get in here is actually quite important, which is Academic Debate. This allows for a stable but slow production of research points in the background. I think that's so imperative to get that, because you could end up getting stuck where you can't find anything and you can't explore any further. You might get a little bit bogged down. You won't get completely locked, but it'll just hurt you a lot. At least if you have a little trickle in the background, that's something. So ultimately what we need now is 25. I had 25 to get planks, but after getting planks, we need the wood cutting station to actually produce the planks. And then once we do that, we can upgrade the kitchen into a, sorry, the field kitchen into a regular kitchen. And that should produce much more food out of the same raw ingredients. And that way we get a better conversion rate and we should feed everyone. So that's kind of my main goal. And that gets everyone caught up on the situation. So let's let time play. So ultimately what we got to do now is feed this building with 800 rubbish, 400 wood, and 200 rubble. So we'll have to go out and collect it. Uh, we've currently got one collection on over here just to get a bit of food. But there seems to be a ton of rubbish right here. So we'll just grab that. 344. And the people that live here and work here should just go out and get it. Oh yeah, there they go. Nice and quickly. All five of them are heading out to do it. What's this? Need a welding torch to get that. Need a welding torch to get that. Crashed cars. I'm just moving my microphone a bit. Alright, good. Uh, is there food out here? 
No, but there is rubble. We need to get that as well. So what I'll do is I'll just assign a few extra people out this way. And hopefully we can get cracking on that. So let's just speed up time just a little bit. I'm going to take things a little slower than I did in the first episode. I feel like I was blitzing through things. At least in terms of how I was speaking very quickly and everything. So hopefully it's just a bit of a slower pace. Now that the prologue is basically out of the way, we can kind of, um, you know, take our time to understand everything that's going on and make proper decisions. I was kind of rushing through things a bit. All right. Yeah, so it's just, I mean, as long as we're not starving and water is piling up, everything's okay in terms of getting different bits of food and stuff. All right, so the books are all stored in there. We just got to wait for research to occur. All of our citizens right now, by the way, are all of the same ideology. So we haven't yet seen that kind of mechanic come into play just yet. No one's hungry anymore. Let us be careful that this problem does not return. That's good to hear. Yeah, it seems like we're actually somehow building up more than we... I don't really get how that's happening because 13.5 daily safe food from one kitchen. That's fair enough. And then 30 food daily from... Because people consume two food. So we, we have 60 food consumption per day. I don't know how we're actually managing it with the food that we have. I think it's just a little bit of extra bits that we pick up is helping a bit. Still doesn't seem to add up in my mind, but it doesn't really matter. It's fine. As long as as long as that number is going up over time, I'm okay. Attention needed. Sorry, that's something else. Over here. <clears throat> I got some not so great news. Something is wrong with one of the water filters. Uh, the water that comes out has a strange smell. Okay, I'll say... Yes, take it offline, but fix it. Yes, please. Let's not risk poisoning, indeed. We have plenty of water in storage, so I think it's a fine thing to do. So we spent a hundred plast uh, rubbish on doing that. That should be okay. Oh, we need to do some deep sea diving. You can see so many buildings and things under the water. Um, what was wrong with the filter? Someone put dead mussels in the tank. Disgusting. Good thing I figured it out in time. Good stuff, Emma Hardy. Handy woman. Good job. Alright, let's just keep time sped up. We collected a lot, actually, of rubbish there. Still need... 800. We have two people not doing anything right now. Again, we could assign one there, assign one here. Not that that solves our issue. In fact, let's put someone on this instead. That's a little bit of extra rubbish per day. Do we need maybe another one out this way? I'll just have a quick look. Oh yeah, this over there, but we can barely fit it on. We'd have to fit somewhere like here. So it costs 150, and then it'll just get some for us over time, right? Right there? That works. That gets two of them. Can't get any more than that. So we'll let them build this. 150 rubbish in order to generate more rubbish infinitely when we want to put people on that. Water still is open and operational again. Okay, good. Oh, right. That's why we get the extra people. I see. There they go. They're back. Get them back on it. Just to store up that water. So how's our study going? Still burning through. So now we have this mode called Academic Debate, but we want to get the experience first, I guess. And the clan can actually upgrade. I think what we need to do is, yes, yeah, specialization for expression. Expression influences most work connected with food production, like safe food and kitchens. All right. So we don't have a kitchen yet, but as soon as we upgrade one, um, a person should fill that. So actually, what I'll do now, I'll wait till this goes to 100% then switch it. Building isn't operational. That's okay. Let's just put someone on it real quick. Alright, it's 100%. We're going to switch this to academic debate now. It's 0.4 daily. Pretty slow. We need... Oh, that's pretty slow, actually. It's way slower than I thought. You can have five people working it to get one daily, I guess. Uh-huh. Okay, well, maybe I could do that. What else could we take people off? Off a little bit of water. Alright, let's see if this will work out then. One, two, three. Keep you on the water, actually. You're okay. There we go, one daily. So 
in three days we'll have the 25 to get the planks. And... What is it? I don't know how much it is then to actually build a plank building. Now, we could just start going out and exploring, and I'm sure we'll probably get a point that way anyway. So maybe it's just better to do that. But at least we are generating it in the background now. Yeah, so it's going to be here. Woodcutting station. The cost is 50. Oh, I'm not waiting 15 days. So yeah, but maybe we'll get that extra 5 if we find one more point. That converts into 10, so it won't, it won't take too long. Alright, good. In case you're wondering what that means, it just means that people have a long time to travel to get there. That's not a big deal. Alright, we'll just speed up time. So basically what we're waiting for now is to get the right amount of rubble, the right amount of rubbish, and then we should be good to go. So we'll just tell them to explore a bit more rubble around here. 51. Tons around here. Cool. Loads right in front here as well. So one or two days we should have what we need, and we'll pack up an expedition and head out. You do need to save up food to do that, though. This is why it's, like, a bit tricky. <laughs> Not really sure how I'm going to do it. Um, there's food here and here, though, so let's get that. There's no more around us, though, now. It's actually just plastic lying out around here. All right, good. No one's hungry, anyway. Someone did get sick again from eating risky food. That's just going to burn through my medication. Damn, man, they're traveling a long time to get here, which is kind of annoying. Maybe I should have an excess of housing or something, and that might fix that problem. We have 800 now, but I'm just going to put down, like, a couple extra houses out this way. Let's see if that makes any difference to that water production over there. Yeah, we've, like, 700. We had 800, so we just built another two tents. That's no problem there. So if I just go forget that... There we go. That's fixed it, basically, I think. What's your problem now? Not enough food coming in. Yeah, we should have more than enough water, right? Five excess per day. Yep. Okay. All right. Next thing, then, is just to upgrade this. We have the woods. There we go. 800, 400, and 200. Let's reclaim the radio tower. All right. Good stuff. That's going to set us back a little bit, but not too bad. We can slow down time a bit to the middle speed now, I think. I know food is starting to become scarce. Why don't we look for new sources of nutrition? Do you have any ideas, buddy? Because I don't see uh, a solution to that. Unless, is there anywhere else that has, for instance, fish? There was one extra fish out here, 50, that I'm not getting. So I suppose I could put this out here maybe and get it. Yeah, that works. Sure, I guess we'll have to do that. That's an extra little bit of risky food that will come in, and that will convert, especially when we upgrade the kitchen. So I guess I guess that's a good thing. All right, the radio tower is under construction. 20%. Two people working it. And we're just waiting on getting the right amount of plastic together to build this. We need 300 in total, but that should be fine. With the amount of people we have on plastic, it should be okay. Water's coming back up, but slowly. Good. Every time he says food's disgusting, it basically just means that they're eating raw food. And we're just generating... Yeah, this stuff daily. So, just for the fun of it, we'll just open up planks. Boop. And now we know that we need 14 points to go. And I know what you might be thinking, Darren, couldn't you have looked through the tech tree, found another solution to food? Ah, where's the fun in that? We've got four people sick with poisoning, one from hunger, okay? More food's coming. Might be raw fish, but just think of it as sushi, it's fine. We'll eat raw fish all the time. There we go. Oh, they're just a little bit short. Done. Right, our tower is working. The radio tower allows you to locate resources and places of interest in the area, as well as organize expeditions. It also receives new intel about survivors that can be reached. So, use the radio tower to locate them. We'll activate a transmission. And there we go. We're after uncovering this place over here. What is it? It is a flooded factory, a giant flooded factory. Buildings like these are a rare sight in the wetlands. Risk factors so we can find people, 
food and water, a key, search for people. So what we need to do, I think, is set up an expedition to go that way. We'll just wait for this to complete. All right, success. Oh my god, 11 research. Yes, we only need two more now to get our better food situation. Awesome. All right, good. We're well on our way. No one's going to die today. Mark my words. All right, reach a group of scouts located in the former factory and bring the newcomers back to the settlement. Yes. All right. Seeing as there's food out there, let's get going. So an expedition needs nine food and nine water. There's no idle people, so we got to take people off some other things really quickly. Um... Hmm, I do kind of want them on tech, but I guess I'll take them off. Just close this down then. Just put another person there, another person here. And then the three remaining could go on the expedition. So it's nine water and nine food. Alright, there's the three people. Not enough resources to start. It says I've got 12 food, but maybe we just need a bit more stored up. Yeah, I think it's who's already assigned to be eaten. You have to wait until it's produced during the day and then send them so people don't eat, don't eat it at night. Oh, there's also two people that are supposed to be working down here. My bad. Alright, two people working down there. Getting a little bit of extra food in for us. How's the uh, medical situation? People are getting food poisoning, but I'm, I'm not seeing them staying sick. We've only got one person who's sick now, so I guess it's just... If they eat regular food, it can go away, so it's not that bad, I guess. Yeah, 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 I know. Food's disgusting. I get it. <laughs> Alright, we should have enough now, right? So prepare the expedition. We've only got the two people now. Okay, there we go. Three days should be fine. It seems close by, hopefully. Alright, so we can just tell them to land pretty much anywhere here. And then they can go explore the island. <clears throat> Alright, nice. We're venturing out, finally. Okay, I know it's been painful, but we're going there. We're getting there. What's your problem? Forager house. Very few resources left in the area. Oh my god. No wonder food is running out. This is really bad, actually. Is there any other food anywhere? There's some there. Please, god. Get that now. A little bit there as well. Alright, everyone's got their jobs to go out and get that little bit of extra food just to help us out for a while. We're getting extra fish though as well now. It's just about feeding that kitchen and then upgrading the kitchen. But I mean, ultimately we're going to have to wait for that and then we are going to be pulling back some food. There they go. 54 food, that's alright. God, yeah, that's good. Good job. <laughs> Still have 30 people. Sifting through, they're getting up. Alrighty, so here they are. Three people, no extras in here just yet. Resources aboard. This is everything that they have with them. You can actually load up scrap with them if you want. Rubbish, sorry. And even build, turn this into a uh, small storage, but I didn't take any with me. So we can go just explore this. There's lots of stuff to explore, and actually there's research and everything around here. But you gotta bring it back. Um, there's probably people here which are probably hungry. Nine medicine and a key. Batteries for transmission. Soybeans. I guess we'll just go for both. So search for the people, then search this as well. We could probably do both, and then put down a flag. See what else is on the island. Alright. Hey, we encountered the Fire Brigade. Our clan was founded by a rescuer of a fire department. We're so determined to help as many people as possible, we eventually formed a long-lasting community. We highly value diversity and tolerance in the Fire Brigade, but we also know how to defend ourselves against violence from other groups and punish those who break internal laws. Fun fact about us, to emphasize our multicultural identity, we celebrate holidays from different traditions together. Taylor Palmer, the chief of the Fire Brigade. Alright, there are people living here. They have lived here for a few months now, though 
Tough ones, sorry. Uh, yet some of them, tired of this place, would like to join us in exchange for being accepted into our settlement. Twelve additional people. Yep. <laughs> I hope we can get the food for it. Oh, cool. So we have another person down here. Taylor Palmer. Twelve population, peaceful, unrest. Worldviews is all good. New world and liberty. Satisfaction? Okay, cool. They're going to just be remaining here until we bring them back. That's all right. You could turn this into its own place for them to live and try to stay autonomous. We'll have to use the radio tower to do a transmission. We need to find sources of food. Big time. You need two batteries if you want to specialize the uh, search, though. If you want to do a general search, it's only one. I think that's the way it works. So we'll just do a general search, see what happens. Okay, we got something over here. Pretty close by, actually. It's almost like you could just swim across. <laughs> Bring the newcomers back to the settlement. It's actually our mission. I didn't even notice that. Good. So they're just gathering all the stuff, piling it into the kind of raft. This will become the raft and we'll send it back out. Food is okay. Everything okay back home? People are working away. Doing what they can. There's more food to be gathered here. Again, if there's any food anywhere, we need to just pick it up. There's some right here. Good. God, I'm so desperate for food. It's crazy. All right, nice. What do we have? Let's take the time to have, really have a look around. So we've got a herbalist's house. Again, soybeans can be ground into powder to make bread or feed for insect farms. Oh, my. Any other big things? We've got rubbish places here. The old industrial hall. There's no telling what once lay in these large industrial spaces. No one's hungry anymore. That's great. <laughs> Could be some treasures hidden within. I'll uh, we'll just put another little flag out here. Exploration. Exploration. Okay. So they're going to be really over overworked. Low on rations. They do have food here. I wonder would they consume that instead. They've only got r rations remaining for one day. There's food coming in again. Oh yeah, remaining rations two days. So they're just eating the food that they have. That's all right. That's, I guess that's fine. I suppose that's why food is okay back home because we've got three people not eating there. They're eating out here instead. Attention's needed, let's check it out. Hey leader, things have been relatively calm lately. So we've been trying to get some kind of league together. Nothing amazing. We don't know what game to play yet. You can't spell sportsmanship without sport, right? What do you think? Can we get some official teams? Sounds like a good idea officially. To do it officially, I think we need to focus... Oh, sorry. I've seen this before. That's fine. Ah, so... Burkut 3 want that. The Fire Brigade want this. I think we need to focus on more important things. People can play sports, but let's... Yeah. Let's just... It's fine. Just... Nobody... It doesn't matter. <laughs> It's not a concern right now, although both of them are unhappy about that. Oh my god, Burkett 3, 30 people got the status annoyed. They both did. Okay, I don't, I don't really know the repercussions of that, if we're completely honest. The unrest didn't build up, but they have the status of being annoyed. Where can I see that anywhere? Annoyed. Change in unrest 21. Okay, so it's going to go up, is it? Oh, it already did. Great. Sorry. As soon as it happened, it didn't happen until I hit OK, I guess, till I let a bit of time play. Fair enough. A little bit of unrest. That's OK. I can handle it. They were on zero. It's OK. So how's their food situation? 32, 42 water, lots of medicine, planks even, actually. No more resources to gather for food yet again. Yeah, we really got to bring them back now, and then we can upgrade that kitchen. We are, we're still getting the fish all the time, so that's good at least. Although it's getting low, is it? Yeah, very few resources left for these guys, because they're both sharing. They're overlapping a little bit. Can't get that one. Can't build there. Alright, I reckon we send these guys back then. Doesn't seem like there's anything left out this way. Of immediate concern. We need things like tools and sledgehammers and all this stuff. It's pretty cool. Like, uh, there's so much stuff and, like, the exploration of the game is 
really like in depth is you don't just get everything immediately you have to come back here several times over the course of the game with ropes hammers welding torches i like that um all right just go back home bring these knowledge back with you you're gonna come back hungry though i think And there's going to be so many more mouths to feed that immediately, practically immediately anyway, I'm going to have to, um, let's go academic debates, build the, uh, the better kitchen, sorry, better kitchen. Do have all the materials we need for it though, so that's good. I'm just going to put a pause on some of these buildings so it doesn't come up as a negative notification. Yeah, so I needed 15 points. We've got 13 right now. We're getting an extra one per day. Just got another one now. They're on their way back, so they probably won't get back to the end of the day. So we'll get another plus one, and then they'll be able to convert that into 10. All right, food. Risky food. Yeah, I mean, we have an excess per day, which is great. That's actually really good. But we just brought back 12 extra people, so we'll see how this all goes. There we go. Oh, no. There were infections. Oh, we just got 10 research. Excellent. Nice. I really needed that, so that's good. All right. I don't mean to alarm you, but people are coming down with abdominal pain and vomiting. It seems to be contagious. Uh, I think it started after people some ate some dead animals that were just lying out in the sun. Ugh. I consider myself a scientist, and I can tell you that's not the case. It's cold fusion react. Okay, whatever. People are blaming the power plant, I see. Survive the epidemic is our next goal. Survive the epidemic. Active epidemic. There are sick people in your community. Make sure to reduce the spread of disease and provide health care. So I do have the medical tent. We do have medication. And we just brought back some medicine. So I'm hoping it's okay. What do we have? Five people who are sick. Seven people homeless. Okay. I think we can handle it. Let's just improve the kitchen. Finally. All right, good. Herbs picking mode. Following buildings receive a new operation mode. The forager hut, etc. Collect herbs from the area instead. Let's just leave that for a moment. We'll switch this now back to the standard mode. Get the extra research and put the extra people back into. Well, we've got loads of people now, so they can go do a bunch of other things. I guess we can allow the production of maybe even wood again, just a little bit. Little person on that. Two people on that. Two people on that. So that's everything back to full capacity. Is there anything that's not operational right now? No. To be honest, we can just get more wood as well then. We've still got eight people not doing anything. Okay. Let's put down a couple of little grab orders as well. All right, guys, and that's all the fish we have in this area. We really want to just send out another expedition as soon as we get the food. Um, and we need to build that building to make planks. So that's going to be in growth. The logging huts. Sorry, we didn't get that yet, did we not? Oh, yeah, I unlocked the kitchen, but I didn't unlock actually getting the planks. Uh, so to build the kitchen, we need 10 planks. We brought back enough planks actually to do it. Great, so we could just upgrade straight away then. Nice, and when I get the extra point then I can get the 15 points needed for the wood workshop that gives us planks. Uh, well then, in the meantime, let's build some extra houses. So that's gonna be well-being, tents. Got a few around this side. There's less to do out there, so I'm feeling like, yeah, maybe just more houses out this way is less travel time. And then we need one other one, I guess. Maybe just somewhere in the middle, not too bad. All right, good, let's see if people get healed. So there's one person, it's 56 healing progress percent. Clan relations, press the clan relations button at the bottom of the screen to see the relations between clans. All right, I haven't seen this before. Relations between clans are shown here. Check whether they are positive or negative and to what extent. Well, we're on neutral right now, so we are Burkett 3, I guess, is our primary. The distance between clan emblems symbolizes their relations. It can change depending on a different factor, such as their worldviews and how much time they spend together, okay? So currently, they're just neutral. 
48 out of 100. Compatible worldviews. Occasional contact, negative 1.8. But no benefit, because they're not... So it's getting worse and worse and worse, because they're in contact in their districts, but they're not in recreation buildings, so they'll have to have some recreation to improve relations. Look at the amount of resources we have now, by the way. Jesus. <laughs> Alright, cool. This is why I thought skipping the tutorial and the prologue in the first episode would be too confusing for people, because I was like, there's just too much going on. So I was like, oh, I'll do it again. I thought I could do it way quicker than I did, but oh well. So we've got seven homeless, five infected, and storage as workers with too many tasks to handle. Well, we've got people not working, so two more in there then, please. We can see now the little pips telling us that there are other, the other clans. All right, speed of time. Can't wait for this kitchen to get done. So, the kitchen is now making 35.5 daily. If you want to have a look at the differences between what it was before, field kitchen was turning 12 risky food into 13.5. So we're gaining 1.5 food out of it that was safe, right? So not that much of a gain rate. The kitchen is slightly better. Instead of 31.5, we're getting 35.5. So we're getting four food for free, if you want to think of it that way. So instead of just getting one food, now we're getting four. Every little helps. And we can... Uh... Oh no, it still does actually... I was going to say do bigger batches, but I, don't get... I guess not. But it just does them quicker. Fair enough. Hopefully that extra four food really, really helps. Uh, because we did just take on 12 extra people. I don't know if this is going to work out. I mean, it certainly sounds like it doesn't. So we'll see. But they were eating some of the risky food. Now that we're producing quicker, maybe it lasts longer or something? I don't know. What? 13 risky food, 55 rubbish, 10 water, 2 safe food, and 8 wood have been stolen in this island. Oh, we're having to, we're after bringing in these damn fire brigade immigrants and they're stealing from us? No, it could be anyone, obviously, but that's the attitude the Burkitt people might have. Maybe. I would certainly be wondering what's after happening. Although you never know, you might have people that are trying to prevent them having the food, right? So... Not good. We're getting a little crime ha happening. In fact, if we pull back a bit to the district view, isn't there a crime or oh, information? Crime is 34. The average unrest in the districts is directly countered by the current local police strength. High levels of crime results in theft. Oh my god, we're all gonna die. <coughs> Excuse me. I wonder then, is it well-being? I don't know how we tackle crime yet. Growth. Doesn't seem like it. Survival? Hmm. I don't know. No idea. If it's not growth, doesn't seem to be so unless it's like really far down one of these chains. I would have thought well-being, you know, looking after people. But I don't see it. Okay. Um, hmm. Interestingly as well, you can get climbing equipment. Develop a research facility is needed. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's a law thing. Law committee. It's not time to think about this yet. Check back later. Hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, people are stealing things, so... You know. I <laughs> would like to figure that out. I guess this unrest uh, wasn't such a good idea after all. Picking the middle option. As a leader, you need to take responsibility for the sick. I am. I am. People are... Five. We've got five people under care right now. Plenty of medicine. Lots of herbs. Yeah, let's uh, keep doing... It. Let's do another transmission. So after unlocking this place. Wow. Stadium ruins. An assignment. 
What is that? Plastic. Plastic and medication. I might do... Let's just try filter it, because I'm we're just in need of food. It's just the most desperate thing, isn't it? So, food. Wow, weird music. So, two batteries. Come on. Well, that's the stadium. Was well, that the same thing? There's food there. I guess that's the one that just appeared for me. All right, I won't do any then for a while while we go out and explore. All right, things are looking pretty dire, I gotta be honest. <laughs> so we're building a couple of extra tents to house the unhoused. Things aren't getting any better between the fire brigade and Burke at three. I hope you have an idea how to make this work. Not really. I mean, maybe if you didn't steal my food. 86 rubbish has been stolen. Guys, what do I do? <laughs> Survive the epidemic? People are recovering though, that's good. No one's starving actually, which is, is good news. I'm always on the edge about food, but technically we're okay. No one's starving. It's just I'm constantly staring at this running out all the time. Right, so they got no materials. Let's switch them now to the academy mode so they can consume the books again, the textbooks. We have our worker for expression. He's helping make that extra food a lot quicker. We built our new tents. So is unrest going to go down? Yeah, it's going down. Six people are homeless. Damn, I thought I built enough houses for sure. So that's just two more tents then, and that's fixed. Okay, two more tents. We could do that. I could have sworn I counted that up before, but okay. I'm going to put another one out this way. Actually, just somewhere in the middle is fine by me. Yeah, I'm sorry if you guys know already about the policing situation and how we do that. The unrest in your community is high. It'll lead to people to commit crime. Try to lower unrest or pass necessary laws to keep things in order. Or else people will start stealing and instigating violence. There are elevated crime levels in Reed. So I think if I can't reduce crime through law because it's not available to me yet, I suppose I just have to fix unrest, right? So that's what we'll try and do. So what else can we do? Growth. Wood cutting station. That's what we need to make our planks. Okay, and that leaves me with four knowledge. Or research. One more resources to gather within our range. Fish. We're out of fish. Just pause the building then until it comes back. Or just put one person on it, I guess. This one's very low as well. Again, dude, I can't get over that, man. The amount we're losing to just having stuff stolen is so crippling. Oh my god. I mean, maybe if they're stealing food, they're eating it still. I hope. It's going to make going on an expedition, like, impossible to go get that food. Because we have to save up food to go. Four people have recovered. Unrest is getting a little bit better because of that. We have two extra houses being built out here tomorrow morning. Alright, so they're going to go out, get those houses done. Alright, we have no more homeless. Homeless problem solved. Two people are hungry. Three people are sick. These three people are in here getting better. Okay, unrest has pretty much gone down. Hopefully that just solves the crime issue. We could save up some food. The food is at negative two per day and negative seven per day. Because we did just run out, basically, of fish around us. Please, God, just give me a, some sort of boost when we finish this uh, quest. 11 rubbish and two water were stolen. The water situation is still okay, is it? Oh, we're actually losing water now as well. Okay, just to prepare for that, we'll build another water still. I'll just pop it around here. My god, tough game. I wonder, does their relationship with Burkett 3 affect their unrest? Wood cutting station, so turning, so 400 wood 
and 140 rubble allows us to make planks. I'll just get that built as well while we have the time to do it and the resources to do it. We can use it in future. I'll build it just over here. Let's see if we can go grab some of the food that's lying around now again. A little bit out there and a little bit there and I think that's basically gonna be it for us. Oh. Might help out a little bit and then we can go explore some other islands again. I know it's a bit risky. It has, it has been risky taking on those extra people. I felt I had to do it. I mean, I did have to do it to, according to the quest. What do we got? Sick poison, food poisoning again? Okay. I actually don't think they go in here if they have food poisoning. I think it's just if they're sick. Looks like crime has dropped for now. Finally, one person has recovered from illness. Good. So that's only one person left, and they're at eighty-seven percent. Okay, good. We've recently built a woodcutting station. That's all good. We don't need anyone on that. Oh, we actually had the, the precision workers in there actually right now. We'll take It's fine. We'll take them off. Don't need to worry. It's just if we want to make planks, we can get in there. Mushroom cluster in the foraging hut. So we can have less people on this, I guess, to let it recover a bit. Forty-eight food. All right, it's time to load up that expedition. Let's go find that extra food. <clears throat> Let's take some people off this job. Prepare an expedition. Three people. Not of resources. What are we lacking? 48 and 20. I think you have to do it in the morning, otherwise the food's allocated to be consumed. We're just down to zero again. So before they consume it in the evening is when you make all of your food and then we can go. There we go. That's enough now. All right, so we know that there was food out here. Can't build on this type of surface. Yeah, it seems um, pretty restrictive where we can land. I'm guessing this is all counts as like one area though. It's like the stadium, right? So let's just go there. Hope for the best. God, the stadium was huge. Alright, speed two. We'll keep it going like that. One person is after getting sick. Three infected people. The epidemic is still ongoing. How much medicine do we have? We have seven in here. Damn, we almost had everyone cured at the same time. I'll just speed through the night. Regular time now during the day. Water is so low. Let's get some people on that. So water is going to be coming up 10.5 per day. Let's just put one person on it. It's a bit overkill. It's 1.8 per day, so that's fine. The fish are pretty much exhausted. Jeez. So you need a fishing dock to gather... Wait, I can't do that, though. There's no room for it. It's like I need to clear this or something, or clear this, maybe. But to do that, we need a hacksaw. Clearing rubble, a pile of rubble. Gather using the sorting lodge. I have a sorting hut. A sorting lodge would clear that area, maybe. We could put a fishing hut there, maybe. That could work. That's something to do. Okay, let's work towards that. Sorting lodge. That's the next upgrade over. It requires 10 knowledge. 10 research. Okay. We'll just have to go find some, basically, and then we've got four right now. Are you done? No, they're not done yet. They're almost done, though. And they're just really low on food. God, such a dire situation. All right, we'll just speed up time. Hope for the best. Two people have recovered from illness. Two people got sick. Okay. Only one person's still sick, so that's not so bad. No more resources over here. Although they're just going to work it whenever they can, I guess. We're really running on fumes now. Just to be 90% sure. There's no fish out this way, is there? Like, that really was it. I mean, there's some fish out here. So I guess if we could set up uh, storage over there, we could come over and just fish regularly and bring it back. I'm not sure how... 
how it works, like sending people back and forth or goods back and forth, but that might be something to try and work on. Anyway, our boat's heading off to the stadium. Just have to hope for the best with them. Pick up some research for sure as well. Alright, we're on day 46. We've almost done another 25 days. We have one research point already. Oh. I didn't notice that. Let's just switch this back into standard mode and get that in. Once we do that, then we'll be able to clear, upgrade this thing and clear this. And then I'm hoping that gives us the space to put down another fishery. People are hungry, I know. I'm trying. I'm trying my best. People are always hungry, it seems. So what do we have? One hungry, one thirsty, one sick. Sorry, two sick and one food poisoned. Okay. They're almost healed. I feel like the epidemic's almost over. If we could just get them all healed at once. Alright, so they've done their thing. They're over here. Let's go get that food. Immediately. There's also apparently people there. I don't think I can take them on, though. It's tempting to, but it's just like, what? how can I feed this many people <laughs> without any additional food sources coming in? Let's just put a expiration thing out here, somewhere out here. Alright, that should give them plenty to do. This game's really cool, but man, I'm struggling. It's very difficult. At least I think so. I'm looking forward to reading the comments. I'm sure people will be just screaming at me about what to do, but... I actually thought I was doing pretty well. Maybe I was just taking on too many people. I've got a personal matter. My daughter, like myself, is a proud member of Burkett 3. Wants to get married from a boy from that fire brigade. Jonas is his name, and... My little Jenny. Yesterday she was snuggling with her dada. Now she has a fiancé. But I actually like the boy a lot and wish them nothing but happiness. However, I'm worried others will take to their... Will take to their relationship. Or how they'll take to it. It's no secret that our clans have very different worldviews, and I'm scared they might disapprove of such a marriage. I'm an old romantic, and I'd like to believe that love can overcome any obstacle, but is there really a place for it, that in this new world? I have to admit, I don't really know. Let them get married? They should be together, but having them be married officially is not a good idea. I'll personally officiate it. I don't have any influence. I shouldn't have anything to do with it. It's their decision. Choose what will truly serve the common good. I mean, I think letting them get married will be good, but now I'm starting to think they'll probably both hate that. I say let them get married. Relations with the fire brigade changed negative 10. Okay, well, it didn't cause an unrest, at least. Hey, I just realized, by the way. Have people died? Or is it just because some of them are on the expedition? It's the expedition, right? I think so, yeah. Because we did have 30. Uh, I don't know now. These are all from... Oh my god, people must have died. How did I not even notice that? They're dying of hunger, thirst... Disease and overwork. Can they die of old age? I don't think so. <laughs> but yeah, we've lost a few people. I didn't see anything about it. I thought I'd been reading my notifications fairly well, but I didn't see anyone say that, like, they died. Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's keep letting time go. How do I survive the epidemic? <laughs> one hunger, one sick. So this one person sick. He's in there now. 94% healed. 95, 96, 97. Healed. Survived, right? There's no epidemic then. In theory. My attention is needed. We don't have the water to get them. Oh my god. They will wait patiently for us. 
All right, we need 25 water to go get those guys. Does that? Oh, I need that to even get the things as well. God damn it! Can't get the food without the water. Oh my god. Uh, let's see then. What can we get while we're here? There's no water around. Is there by any chance? <laughs> I'd say just search one thing and bring it back. I just need the research at this point. We ultimately just need to get the food so we can then go out and do something. Got lots of plastic, lots of wood, lots of buildables. Just very, very little in the way of food. Fishing wharf upgrade. See, production is increased. That's all well and good. But it doesn't increase the pools of which I can draw from, of which I'm already emptying out, you know? Like, there's no... I'm, like, literally limited by what I can get. <laughs> you have to build this on water, so I couldn't build it any closer. There's no additional fish. So there's fish over there. Can I even build over there? No, you need to get a one of these over here. Can't build on an island that we can't access. A new district. We've got tons of rubbish. Maybe I'll just sell them to go that way and bring rubbish with them and set up a camp. Uh, it could be enough fish to keep us afloat, maybe? Gotta figure this out. Got another episode to do. Have to figure it out. 50 new people. They want the settlement to have at least 25. Water. Yep, that's our other thing. I know. So, the disease spread risk factor is 10. Once an epidemic breaks out in one of your districts, it'll continue to spread until you reach herd immunity. The number of new infections every day depends on how many people are currently ill and unisolated. Also in a given district's disease spread risk. You can reduce it by ensuring everyone's housed and eating safe food. Well, for the most part, people are. As well as introducing special sanitation laws if necessary. Issues currently affecting disease spread risk factor is the fact that people are getting poisoned by the food. Oh my god, that's such a spiral, isn't it? Jeez. I'm actually loving like the fact that it's so challenging, but it makes me feel bad when I'm making videos and I'm like, oh my god, I'm just going to fail in front of everyone. <laughs> Alright, we've done all of that. There's nothing left to be done here other than just switch it to academic debate. Bring this down and just let them generate some points in the background daily. People are hungry. I know. <laughs> Food. Alright, there's some extra food lying around there we should be able to get. So do these guys need to come back now? Have they got what they need? Yeah, basically. Alright, come back home. We have the point that we need. Oh, you can relocate the camp. To a different island. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's interesting to know. Because if we had enough... Yeah, I'm just going to send these guys home anyway. Load up another expedition. Bring all the rubbish together and set up a second island properly. It costs 300 to do so. I don't want to do it here. The other one has fish, at least. So we'll just have to come back there in the future when we can. Alright, a bit of a mismanaged episode, if I'll be completely honest. But uh, it's been a learning experience. Hopefully in the next one we can actually set up on the other island and just sort out the food issues. Super interesting to see what people think of this. We got crime again. Because unrest from the Burkitt guys. Just stealing our food. Making it even harder. Making it even harder. No more resources within our range again. Just gonna wait for those guys to come back and then we'll have to call it there and then I'll come back with the next episode. <clears throat> this is like settlement survival all over again. Oh my god, we did it. We survived. I can't believe it. Uh, survived the epidemic. 20 research, new development possibilities. Let's go. Yes, we could do laws. After the whole toxic water rumor, there have been some arguments and misunderstandings amongst the people in the settlement. If, someone, if something isn't done, this might escalate into all-out violence. 
This is going to cost... Sorry, this is more than just an expedition, but an attempt at building a real society. We're going to need some kind of law and order. You need to establish the kind of institutions that will not only let us survive, but prosper and develop. Build... Issue basic legislation, create space for recreation and social gatherings, gain influence by satisfying the need for recreation. Alright, finally, cool. Laws define the rules of the community. You can manage them after clicking the Law Committee button at the bottom of the screen. Alright, let's just check it out real quick. Oh my god. Laws are managed. Some of them require constructing specific buildings. Different laws trigger different reactions amongst your clans. Spend your influence to enact laws. You don't have any. Plans of different preferences regarding recreation, okay? It's a free law. The first one allows you to build a bonfire canteen, fulfills the need for recreation, granting influence. Alright, cool. I'll leave it there before I click that. We'll click that in the next episode and see what laws are all about. I'll take the time to read around and then have a look at maybe can we sustain getting fish over here and bringing it back. I don't know how you do that because the only way I know it works is literally going over and back and forth with expeditions but maybe i could just i don't know i'll find out i guess all right that's gonna be it for this episode again thank you to vile monarch and raven's court for sponsoring the series sorry that i suck <laughs> i am playing on hard to be fair and it is my first run but either way enjoying the game go check it out on steam links in the description at the top comment looking forward to reading the comments myself thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one Hey guys, thank you very much for watching, and remember, if you want to support the channel directly, you can click the Join button to become a channel member. Doing so will get your name in the credits, as well as loyalty badges and emotes to use in the comments. You'll also get exclusive access to my Discord, where there's dedicated channels for each series I'm doing, and it's a great place just to meet others and make some friends.